moving on to Java, um, we've added some additional rules for XML. So not all XML processing vulnerabilities are about XXE. Um, for instance, if you didn't already know that the Java XML Digital Signature API doesn't use strong signature validation by default, then you could look at this code all day long and never realize there was a problem here. So for that, we've added um, four new XML processing rules to help you find these maybe less obvious XML processing vulnerabilities. Along similar lines, in commercial editions, we've added additional taint analysis vulnerabilities for some of the less prominent types of um, vulnerability uh, with user-provided code. So this particular vulnerability that I'm showing you is about reflection, um, and it's reflection with user-provided data. So as a review, what taint analysis does is start from where you get data from the user. Anytime you get data from the user, you have to assume that it can't be trusted. Maybe it can, maybe it can't, but you need to assume that you shouldn't trust it. And it's going to follow that user-provided data through the control flow from method to method, from file to file, to where that user-provided data is used in unsafe ways. So. The other neat thing about this particular vulnerability is that there are multiple paths through the code that can get you to this same unsafe usage. And we can see those here in the left pane. So this first one that we started with has 21 steps to get to the problematic usage. This one's a little bit shorter, but again, it goes from method to method and file to file to help you trace where the untrusted user input comes in and where it's used in an unsafe manner. Moving on from that, um, there's another feature that we've added to taint analysis. Um, so with 9.4, we've done an effort to analyze the source code of 10 major libraries slash dependencies, and we fed the resulting data into analysis, so that ships with 9.4, and it's going to enrich your taint analysis if you're using these 10 libraries, so that you can start to pick up vulnerabilities that might have been missed before. So an example of one, and this is some sample data, so it's a little bit contrived, um, but we're getting user data through a dependency um, that we previously would have missed. Then we pass it in in the code here in the main application. It goes through a pass-through in a dependency. Um, again, it might have we might have lost track of it previously at this point. Then we pass it around some more within this code. And then here's a, a sync in a dependency. So again, we have analyzed 10 major popular dependencies fed that code into your analysis and so with 9.4 you may see additional taint analysis vulnerabilities raised that weren't raised before because basically we've made the rules smarter. Still on Java, um, I think anyone who analyzes Java is going to be happy to see this because we have made your analysis faster. In our test, the, the changes that we did were up to 67 percent faster across the projects that we tested. Larger projects see a greater impact on this. Your bigger projects get a, a bigger boost in performance, and small projects may not see much of an improvement at all. But on average, we saw a 30% increase in performance of the Java sensor, so the Java portion of analysis, um, with these improvements. What we've done is group the processing of related files together. So we get this performance boost with no impact on accuracy. Similarly, in commercial editions, we've improved the speed of PR analysis as well, another another 8 to 25 percent on top of the average 30 percent in overall analysis. And the way we've gotten this PR analysis speed boost is that we've changed what we're analyzing. So previously we were running full analysis on all the files and then narrowing what we reported 
to what was related to the PR. Now we're only going to run full analysis on the files changed in the PR and on the files that weren't changed in the PR we're only running the rules that can be affected by changes in other files. So again if you're, if you're running Java analysis you're going to get your results faster and I think everybody likes that.